this whole top assembly is pressed in to this top housing before it's lowered into position and welded. That's actually cut vertically and relieve the stress in these uh, outer edges before it's nicked off. Made a hell of a bang when the first cut that goes went bang under tension. Must be a few tons of pressure there. Looks like that little uh, copper thing there is a thermal valve. Somebody who works for a scroll compressor manufacturer told me they're thermal valves, so I'll believe him. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a thermal valve there. This is your low pressure side in here. There's gaps down here that go down into the crankcase, which is your suction side. And up here where the, the uh, head is actually pressed into the outer housing, this area here is your high pressure. And this is your discharge valve. There's a little floating ring in here. Under that are your passageways straight out of the centre of the uh, scroll. I'll take all this off a bit later on. Inside the head there isn't really much. There's a little no return valve. And that's about it. It's just pre high pressure space. You can see where the different where the uh, meeting point is. There's your thrust plate in there, all aluminium. Your moving scroll and your fixed scroll. This here is the discharge valve assembly I'm just taking off. No idea how much one of these compressors is worth, but I'd say it'd be well over ten thousand dollars Australian. 5mm cap screws, way out the housing, ports, reed, looks like that's it, got something like the press, I don't know, held in place with oil. Directly down inside there I can see the moving scroll. That's the edge of the moving scroll right there. Let's take this sucker's head clean off. As they say in the old times, off with his head! motor spindle too. Brush washer, ring, whatever you like to call it. And this here is the moving scroll. The one I just lifted off with the head assembly is the uh, fixed scroll. Don't know how to help me get this thing up though. moving scroll. It's big. Looks like it's got laminated steel pressed 
into this cavity here, probably to make it a bit more flexible. If it does take a gulp of liquid, it doesn't self-destruct. Well, actually, no, that's a um, lubricating ring that comes out. Plastic lubrication. Very impressive. There is the motor skin. You see the eccentric, clearly see the eccentric lobe. There's a centre drill there for the machining on the lathe, but that's really your real centre about there. Very nice. That'll do for tonight. I'll do the rest tomorrow and post another video. Holding the valve assembly a bit too high in that video, so here's a bit more. That's the underside on the top of the head, and that's the actual valve unit. You've got a floating check ring, and little side passages as well as the centre. Pretty nice bit of machining. It just acts like a reed, there's no spring or anything on it.